Good morning students and see today I am with Sam. This is Sam and do you know today Sam wants to accompany me during this classes and he told I want to go to you with you so that I can accompany all your students. I want to meet him. So say hi to Sam. Say hi. Yes. Now what happened you know yesterday Sam was not feeling well. So when Sam was not feeling well he was having little bit temperature also. So I thought let me take Sam to doctor and we immediately went to doctor and doctor just saw Sam. So nice, so cute as usually doctor does with, do with you. So in the same manner he did with Sam also. Now doctor just took up his stethoscope and he told Sam what is your problem? Do you have any problem? Then Sam told, yes, I am not feeling well. I am having fever. So, doctor just took out a thermometer and he put thermometer under the arms of Sam. Now, he told Sam, come on, put up your arms. Now, Sam doesn't know what is this arm. Then after, he told Sam, Show me your eyes. Sam was staring at him like this. Take out your tongue. Sam was again confused. Then he asked Sam, Do you have any problem in your stomach? Sam was again confused. Again Sam, Are your legs paining? Sam was unable to answer again. So, Sam was very very sad. Then after I replied for Sam. Doctor prescribed all the medicines and we came back home. But the confusion was there and on the way Sam asked me. Ma'am, what was the doctor asking for? What is this tongue? What is this arm? What is this stomach? And what is this hand leg. Then I told him, Sam, tomorrow I am going to teach something regarding this one only. So one, you can accompany me. You want to know this because my students even know those things. Right students? You know, na? Yes, I know that. You are very smart. So now, let us teach Sam that what is this? This? Body parts. Yes. So our today's topic is body parts which is one of the topic of your science book and it's chapter number 2. So let us see which is chapter number 2 and this is our chapter number 2 parts of the body. So, let us see which are the different parts of the body and what are they called. So, let's see. So, Sam, now you also just see and students, you also repeat with Sam. Okay? Put your hands on your head. This is my head. This is my head. This is my forehead. This is my forehead. This is my nose. This is my nose. These are my cheeks. These are my cheeks. This is my chin. This is my chin. These are my lips. These are my lips. This is my teeth. This is my teeth and tongue. He cannot take it out now. He is not in the mood. So, this is my tongue. This is my tongue. This is my neck. This is my chest. 
these are my shoulders where we put on our bags these are my ears these are my ears this is my hair this is my hair this is my chest this is my chest this is my stomach this is my stomach this is my arm it's very strong okay this is my arm this is my hand this is my hand these are my fingers see these are my fingers and this is my palm this is my palm this is my wrist this is my wrist this is my thigh this is my thigh these are my legs these are my legs this is my foot this is my foot which helps me to walk and stand these are my toes so small toes sam is having na these are my toes and this is my ankle this is my ankle this is my back this is my back so did all of you repeat after me yes so these were our body parts the name of our body parts so let us sam sit over here and now let us understand here what we have learned so let us once more repeat the things so come on this is my head this is my forehead these are my eyes and i am even wearing a spectacle on my eyes where do wear our spectacles on our eyes these are our ears these are my lips this is my chin these are my teeth this is my tongue this is my neck these are our shoulders yes this is your shoulder this is my shoulder this is my chest this is my stomach these are my hands these are my legs these are my fingers right and where do we wear our rings we wear our rings on our fingers right and where do we wear our shoes we wear our shoes on our foot right so these are the external body parts they are also called external body parts so the first part which we learned that is our external body parts okay which can be seen these parts are called external because they can be seen now we will go for the next part that are uses of our body part of our body parts so now can anyone tell me that you play with a ball yes right some of us play with the big ball and those big balls are called footballs and how do you play with the football you kick them na yes so which body part do you use to kick your football it's your legs so we kick our football with our legs yes and now till now i was holding sam so can you tell me which body part did i use to hold sam yes i used my this hand yes sam was holded in this hand exactly and can you tell me what are the uses of this hands and fingers we can write with it we can hold things with it right and i'm standing now so can you tell me which body part is used to stand 
Very good. You are exactly answering. I am standing with the help of my legs. I am standing with the help of my legs. Yes. So, legs, hands, they and different parts of our body helps us to do different things. But just at this stage, we will learn about our hands and legs. Next, we will go for the sense organs. Ma'am, what is this sense organs now? You taught us about body parts that are external body parts. You taught us about uses of our body parts. Now, what are these sense organs? Sense organs are those organs which make us aware about our surroundings. These are the some of the parts of our body which make us aware that what is going on in our surrounding and what it does, you know, it gives the information to the brain. It continuously streams the signals to our brain, okay, that this is that and this is this. Then which are the sense organs? Sense organs are our eyes eyes with which we can see and our second sense organ is our ears ears and the third sense organ is tongue with the help of which we can taste and the next sense organ is can you tell me nose and the last but not the least is skin, the upper layer of our body, skin, okay. So now we will see how these sense organs are working. So can you tell me what is this? Yes, everyone is very excited. So yes, this is Chota Bheem. So, can you tell me that this is Chota Bheem? You are telling me this is Chota Bheem, ma'am. But how did you identify Chota Bheem? Exactly, with your eyes. How did you identify Chota Bheem? With your eyes. So, eyes helps us to identify things, to identify colors, to see the beautiful nature. So, eye is the most important sense organ. And in this way we can see things. It just gives the sense of sight. And the next one is. Now what you are going to do with this ma'am. So I am going to. Can you hear something? Yes. It was a sound. And can you tell me which Part of your body help you to hear this one? Yes, our two ears. Our two ears helped us to hear that ma'am is making a sound, right? So, our ears helps us to hear. It gives us the sense of hearing, okay? Now, everyone is having at their home some of them are using of mothers, some of them are using of fathers. But what is the use of this? See? Right? I have just get it. Wow, such a nice smell. I'm getting such a nice fragrance. So, which organ is being used during this process? Yes, my nose, my nose, it's giving me the sense of fragrance. It may be sweet, it may be lovely, it may be foul also, right? So who gives us the sense of fragrance? Nose, the sense of smell, understood? Now I am going for the Next one which is very favorite of yours and that is, yes, it's a chocolate toffee. And do you like it? 
but do you know different toffees are having different taste so how we can understand the different taste is it sweet or sour yes it's sour it is having a mango taste right but how did you know that one because you have tasted it and this sense is called this one tasting sense which helps us to taste and who helps it tongue tongue helps us to taste it so this is also an important part of sense organ and the last one is skin so i'm having two papers one is very smooth and another is sand paper so can you tell me when i am just rubbing my hands on this marble paper it is so smooth but when i am rubbing my hand on this sand paper oh oh it's rough it's rough this is smooth smooth and this is rough rough so how did i feel it i felt it with the help of my skin the upper portion of my upper layer of my body okay this is called the sensation of feeling skin gives us the sensation of feeling so this was the thing which i wanted to make you learn today that different parts of our body which are called external parts of our body then after uses of our body and the last one was sense organs now today i am not going to tell you to do the exercise or the activity today your task will be your chapter number 2 parts of the body page number 4 and page number first of all page number 4 these are the parts of the body which you will learn and try to learn it along with the spellings okay because next day in the next class i am going to do with the spellings and page number 5 we are going to do with this part and the next one is activity so we are not going to do activity just now you will do your activity in your book along with me in the next class so let's wait for the next class thank you